All right, now we're doing AQ volume of a cuboid. This is by user 5196477, and 79% of people like it. So Bob needs a fast way to calculate the volume of a cuboid with three values, the length, width, and height of the cuboid. We're going to write a function to help Bob with his calculation. Well, this is, this is how we're going to do this one. We're just going to say return right here, and then we're going to say uh, length times width times height. And that'll pretty much do it. Uh, let's test it out. Looks good. Uh, is there another way? Is there another way? Let's see. I don't think there is since this is a class. Uh, the only thing we could pr probably maybe do, well, we can definitely do this. We could change this to LWH. Let's comment this out and just say return uh, L times W times H. And it should do the same thing. Yeah, there we go. I want to try something though. Let's see if we can do a const get volume of cuboid equal this and do an arrow function. Let's see if we can do an arrow function here. Just, I mean, why not? We're not doing anything else, are we? Put this right here. Get this. Turn it into nothing. Let's see what we got here. Ah, no, no good. Get volume of cuboid. Nope, no good. No good. So I guess we're going to have to leave it like this. Test it out. Looks good. And attempt it. Can't think of anything else. And submit it. Maybe there will be something in the answers we can look at. Uh, same thing. No thanks. <laughs> I guess, Oh, that's how you do it. That's how we should have done it. Should we go back? Nah. Anyway, this is the coolest way. Turns out this is how you do it with a class. Oh, whoa, 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 const. What? Anyway, so there we go. That's uh, that's how it is. Let's go over to mine. Just me on this one. Uh, best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.